Hi, hello. Welcome to Kalagati. Today, we are going to discuss about the Ketu in ninth house. Ninth house is all about uh, higher education, philosophy, spirituality. So, the Ketu in the ninth house influence the challenging and transformative situations in the ninth house. This video will explore the Ketu in the ninth house. We will an analyze spiritual significance, challenges, remedies, all these things in this video. Okay. So, what are the remedies if Ketu is in ninth house? We will reveal this uh, at the end. Okay. At the end, we will reveal this uh, at the end. So, join us as we uncover the secrets of Ketu in the ninth house and how it shapes spiritual and intellectual pursuits. So, first we need to understand Ketu in ninth house. Okay. So, Ketu in ninth house. So, Ketu, Ketu is the person who came from our past. Suppose, let us assume, 100 years back. Now, 2024, right? So, he came 100 years back. So, let us assume, from 900, 1900 year, he came he came to 2024. He traveled along and he came to the 2024 year. So, people got modernized at the present situation. Okay. Uh, uh, from the Ketu point of view, the people got modernized, updated. Okay. Many things uh, the, from the past they are missing. Whatever the evidences they have with that, uh, they are moving into the present. Okay. Ketu in the ninth house is uh, deeply connected to the past life, spiritual quests. Okay. So, ninth house is all about uh, higher education, philosophical thinking, customs, traditions, higher knowledge, gurus. This uh, shadow planet, the shadow energy, will influence all these things. Okay. Now, a new person from the past, he came into the modern era. So, whatever the situation, whatever the persons where he is facing, he will see in a different way. He will think that they are missing the roots. The, they are missing the origins. They are missing the exact knowledge. And... Uh, they, he will come up with the exact knowledge. He will come up with a deeper knowledge. Which people may not able to sync with this person. The persons who are in the current uh, may not sync. Once he gets synced, okay, once he gets synced uh, with the ideologies, with the meaning, with the understanding, okay, when he improves that uh, kind of an attitude by thinking to the modern people, he will transform, he will transfer that ancient knowledge which are rooted or hidden inside, he will bring that knowledge into the modern era. He will connect with the modern things. For example, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, Ketu is the ninth house. His revolutionary ideas in the technology design were deeply intervened with the Trust of a spiritual understanding and personal fulfillment. His approach to creating innovative products as much as spiritual journey, it was a technological. So, this is Ketu. The Ketu is the person who came 100, from the 100 years back, from the past. Okay. He, he came and landed in the present. So, Ketu, what challenges and obstacles? He will face. Ketu in the ninth house will face uh, several obstacles, okay. difficulties in education because he came from the past. Now the education, what he is seeing may challenge because it is modernized and they don't have base. Okay. This person is having that roots but uh, not updated. Now the struggle between this will happen. The struggle to find a spiritual path that aligns with the inner self. 
the key challenge is feeling of disconnection from the traditional educational systems, religious systems. This can manifest difficulties in connecting with the authoritative figures, teachers, mentors, religious leaders, because he came from the roots. So now the in present era, the teachers, the mentors, the religious leaders, they are, they are all baseless. According to Keto point of view, he will see those people as a baseless. So he, he want to bring back that ancient wisdom, okay, ancient from the roots. And he want to connect with the present things. So Ketu's nature being headless symbolizes a disconnection from the past. This can result in a sense of fragmentation or lack of direction, often leading to a quest, meaning that might seem exclusive or confusing. This person, by seeing all these things, customs, traditions, modernized customs, modernized civilization, by seeing all these things, modernized knowledge, you will see these are baseless. These people are monkeys, sheeps. So he want to bring, bring that ancient wisdom and need to connect, but not able to sync with the current version. This struggle will happen. He's not able to connect with the present teachers, present mentors, present religious leaders. Okay. So by seeing all these things, what is happening in the present modern era, he will become a rebellion. Non-conformity. So Ketu, the fiery nature, is like a Mars. Non-conformist nature can provoke rebellion against the established systems, including traditional religious, government structures, social, social norms, all these things. He will become a rebellion. Individuals with K2 in the ninth house may question conventional beliefs and seek alternative spiritual paths. They might challenge religious doctrines, authorities, figures, often feeling more aligned with unconventional and non-traditional practices. They will question, they will they will become, they will fight with authoritative figures in the religion. Because he have that uh, roots, the knowledge of the root. Okay. Nobody know why we are celebrating Diwali, why we, are, we want to celebrate uh, Ramjan, why we want to celebrate Christmas. Nobody know because they are not connected with the roots. But they too connected with the roots. People who are doing all these things, he will not feel comfort. Okay. He want to teach. He want to teach. He want to do that selfless service to revolution, revolutionize uh, the current moderate concept. Okay. So individuals with the ninth house, Ketu, will challenge, okay, will challenge, will question. Despite these challenges, Ketu can also bestow significant wisdom. These individuals may develop a critical mind. Okay. Discerning ability which makes them excel in the fields such as teaching, physiotherapy, spiritual guidance. Their unique perspective allows them to offer insightful advice and guidance to others. So, why this will happen? Past karma, subconscious pattern. Because your ancestors, your forefathers, your foremothers, <laughs> Grandmothers, grandfathers, so ancestors. So ancestors, from that ancestors, you got that kind of a knowledge which are rooted. Where it is started, wherever Ketu is sitting, there you will get uh, the roots knowledge. Okay. So you will have all the base answers, but you are not updated. With that, uh, base you will come into the modern okay. so here there will be a confusion because the k2 will have that base knowledge not modernized but the present in present era they are modernized they don't have base knowledge okay here the connection need to happen okay by seeing all these things k2 will question these beliefs question this knowledge 
and he want to try to sing with his patterns. Ketu, a planet without a head represents our past talents, subconscious programs. It can indicate a sense of separation or disconnection from the authority figures, leading a lifelong search for a father figure or spiritual teacher. This placement also reflects a lack of harmony in relationship with these individuals. Okay. Because of this uh, kind of a non-seek knowledge will not a, he this person not able to sync with the teachers or his father because father is first guru who will come in the ninth house. Okay. Next comes spiritual awakening and detachment. The power of detachment. Ketu in the ninth house often leads a powerful sense of spiritual awakening and detachment. It is, uh, resembles like Virakti Vairagya. Because he is the only person in, and uh, the, this kind of a non-sync. Okay? The modern era he is not able to come he is not able to sync with the beliefs, system, traditions, customs. He is not able to sync. So he will get detached. The placement encourages individual to transcend the material attachments and focus into the spiritual evolution. Except Tolly, for example, the Ketu in ninth house, he experienced a profound spiritual awakening that led him to write influential books like The Power of Now. His detachment from the material concerns allowed him to explore and share deep spiritual insights with the world. This detachment can manifest a desire to let go of material possessions and social expectations, making way for a more profound connection with the self and the universe. Okay. He wants to think inside. So for that, uh, Whenever he goes, because he came from the past, right? Whenever he goes, he will feel kind of a detachment because not able to connect with the environment, external environment. So he always the kind of a struggle that leads to detachment and increases the spirituality. Because if you are not able to get success, if you are not able to get uh, uh, the answers, then you will seek the guidance of a God. That's why Ketu will bring that spiritual awakening and detachment. Because of this, uh, not able to sink in nature with the external environment. Finding alternative communities. While the journey of spiritual detachment can lead the feelings of isolation, he will think, uh, I am alone. Because he is having a different knowledge and uh, the outside, the presenter is having a different knowledge. It's a crucial for individuals with Ketu in ninth house to seek out alternative communities and support systems. Ketu influence may create a sense of disconnection from the mainstream society. Finding like-minded individuals or communities that align with your spiritual journey can provide the support understanding needed during this transformative period. By embracing and understanding Ketu influence, you can navigate through these feelings of detachment and find a new pathways for personal growth and uh, spiritual discovery. How to overcome these obstacles and challenges. Seeking alternative spiritual paths. To overcome these challenges posed by Ketu in ninth house, exploring alternative spiritual practice that resonate with, uh, with you can particularly beneficial. This may include Eastern philosophy, mystical practices, unconventional spiritual methods. Because you are not able to sing with the outer world or external environment. You want to develop your separate path. You want to develop a separate path. So you will try to correct the beliefs, correct the system, correct the traditions, correct the uh, kind of uh, the knowledge of what the current modern era of processing. Okay? You want to correct. Uh, so you will become a rebellion in correcting all these things. But you will, may not succeed and you will get a detachment. After getting detachment, uh, after uh, uh, going to inner self, 
Okay. You will try outer world, but you want to try in the inner world. So you will go to the spiritual awakening will happen inside after rejections. Now the Ketu will find a alternative path. Ramdas, another individual with Ketu in ninth house, found a profound purpose and meaning through Eastern spirituality and experiences. His journey illustrates how exploring non-traditional paths can lead to significant spiritual growth and understanding. So focus on reflection. Focus on self-reflection. Self-reflection and introspection are essential for navigating challenges of K2 in the ninth house. Practices such as journaling, meditation and inner Contemplation can help you connect with the deeper self. So moreover, Ketu influence might affect long distance travel and pilgrimages, often leading to unexpected obstacles. Adapting these challenges and finding alternative methods for achieving your goal can be crucial. Ketu ninth house. And Unwilling past life influences. So past life experience, what he may in the past. He may be a spiritual speaker, a philosopher, a sage, a traveler or explorer, teacher or mentor, rebel or non-conformist. So Ketu in ninth house, will bring this kind of a knowledge because he is the, in the past he is a spiritual speaker in the past he is a philosopher with that knowledge he will come to the modern era maybe in the past he is a rebel or a teacher or a traveler okay so with these experiences he will come into the modern society now he want to sink whatever the knowledge he is possessing which is root which is came from the bottom where it is started okay in this modern period people don't know the roots okay. past life experiences will come into the present life past life memories and experience so memories of if ketu is in ninth house this person will get memories of ancient wisdom philosophical debates spiritual practices, travel and exploration, teaching and guiding to others. So past life, he, he did this. Now current life, there will be a spiritual curiosity. So he want to learn higher education. He want to teach. He want to mentor. He want to travel and explore. He want to rebel. But he will not find the way. Because whatever the knowledge he is possessed of, Okay, not, even, not able to sync with the current situations. That's why he will struggle a lot. Now, we need to understand. So, we need to look inside. The person wants to look inside. And need to, need to understand what the energy is having. What the command is having. With that, he wants to sync. He, he wants to try to sync. Impact on luck and fortunate events. K2 influence creates a unique luck in research, metaphysical pursuits, occult knowledge, but hinder market defying money making opportunities and speculative gains. So, K2 in the ninth house may get the challenges in the higher education, unusual long distance travels, unconventional belief systems, difficulty in guru relationships, unusual fatherly support. So these kind of things uh, will come when uh, Ketu is in ninth house. Now let us see case studies. Real life example. Elon Musk. So Ketu in ninth house. He is having Ketu in ninth house. Exemplifies how spiritual and intellectual pursuits can drive innovation. His work in technology and space exploration reflects a deep spiritual quest and desire to make a meaningful impact on the world. Musk's unconventional approach and visionary ideas highlight the unique strengths that individual with K2 in ninth house can bring to their fields. Another example is Deepak Chopra. 
Deepak Chopra is a notable example as Ketu in Ninth House. His career in exploring spirituality and conscious showcases how Ketu influences can lead to a successful career in guiding others through spiritual and philosophical insights. Individual with Ketu in Ninth House may face challenges in traditional settings but often excel in self-directed learning and innovative fields. So here the Ketu you, whatever the knowledge you possess, whatever the root of where you came from, whatever the direction what you have, you may not be able to sink in this uh, present situation. That's why you want to explore yourself, what the knowledge, what inside you, by meditating, by seeking inner self, seeing inside, you want to bring that knowledge. And you need to pave a new path you should not correct the existing system and you want to pave a, a right path, a new path. So Ketu in ninth house for all the signs. So Ketu, if it is in Aries, Ketu ninth house belongs to Aries sign, brings a restless and adventurous approach to spirituality and higher education. You want to showcase the heroism. But uh, it will not sync with the current situation. So he will get detached with the heroism, whatever he possesses, because he is having a he is a, came from the past. Okay. So Aries native Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple, was known for his innovative, unconventional approach to technology and spirituality. So he he will become he's not able to sink. Now he will look inside, he will seek the spirituality. When Ketu in the ninth house and uh, that the ninth house uh, became a Taurus sign, Ketu in ninth house can create a sense of detachment from the traditional values and material security. Taurus native Firado Kalo, artist and feminist, explored unconventional forms of spirituality and art, often blending Mexican folk traditions with the modernism. Now comes with a Gemini sign. If Ketu is in ninth house and ninth house became Gemini, ignites curiosity of unconventional knowledge and spiritual practices. Gemini native Elon Musk, entrepreneur and visionary, explores innovative ideas in technology, space exploration, and sustainable energy. When Ketu is in ninth house and it became a cancer sign, this leads to emotional detachment. Whatever the love he, he have, he is not able to sing with the modern, current, present situation. Okay, So it, it brings emotional detachment from the family and tradition and roots. Example, cancer is J.K. Rowling, author of Harry Potter series, drew upon her own emotional experiences and spiritual exploration to create a magical world. When Ketu is in ninth house and became a Leo sign, Ketu in ninth house brings a desire for unconventional spiritual expression and creativity. Leo native, Jimi Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix, musician and artist, revolutionized music with the, his innovative and experimental style. When Ketu is in ninth house uh, and it became a Virgo sign, Ketu in ninth house can create a sense of analysis and critique of uh, spiritual and philosophical beliefs. Virgo native Stephen King, author, explores the human condition through horror and suspense, often critiquing societal norms. Ketu in ninth house and Libra sign. Ketu in the ninth house brings a desire for balance and harmony in spiritual and philosophical pursuits. Example, Libra Native. Mahatma Gandhi, leader and philosopher and advocate and non violinist resistance and balance in the social justice. When Ketu is in ninth house and it became a Scorpio sign. So Ketu in ninth house can create a sense of intensity, passion for spiritual exploration. Scorpio Native. Lebo Picasso, artist, explored the depths of human emotion and spirituality through his art. When it is Sagittarius sign, 
when Ketu is the ninth house, that sign became a Sagittarius sign, brings a desire of expansion, exploration of spiritual and philosophical horizons. Sagittarius native Nelson Mandela, leader and humanitarian, fought for social justice and explored the intersection of spirituality and politics. When Ketu is in a Scorpio sign, and it became a ninth house, it can create a sense of a discipline and responsibility in spiritual and philosophical pursuits. Example, Scorpion native Martin Luther King Jr., leader and activist, advocated for civil rights with a sense of discipline and responsibility. When Ketu is in Aquarius sign, Aquarius sign, the Ketu brings a desire of unconventional and innovative spiritual expression. Aquarius native David Bow, musician and artist, explored innovative unconventional forms of spirituality and art. Pisces sign. Ketu in ninth house can create a sense of spiritual detachment, transcendence. Example, Pisces native Ik Chat Tole, spiritual teacher, explores the mystical and spiritual dimensions of existence. So, they will come up with a, a kind of a root knowledge. Okay? They are travelers from the past to the present. Now they want to sink. They want to create a new way. Okay, new exploration. So people will, whoever likes this new way, they will follow. It, it will become a revolutionary. The power of Ketu is unimaginable. He is very powerful. What Ketu takeaways? So Ketu in ninth house reveals past life accomplishments and karma. Okay. The rooted knowledge. It signals that native should not repeat the same path in this life. He want to take a new path. Obstacles in the higher education, finding a good teacher or feeling unlucky may arise. Because his whatever the knowledge he is having, it may not sink to the exact knowledge of modern. Ketu's presence can make the native question their own religion or family traditions. The Ketu results change if another planet is present in the ninth house. Ketu performance depends on its placement and can bring struggles or detachment. The impact of ninth house, other planets on the ninth house also will bring that kind of a significance. The presence of other planets in the ninth house can significantly alter the outcome. For example, Jupiter presence with the Ketu can help you navigate spiritual doubts while still respecting your heritage. Another planet, ninth house, can indicate that you can build upon the past life accomplishments despite Ketu influence. If Ketu is connected with another planet also, the conjunction, okay? so the properties of that planet also, the Ketu will bring from the roots. Okay? With that planet also, you may not sync with the modern society. You have a unorthodox beliefs, unorthodox uh, kind of a knowledge. So with that, you want to become a revolutionary. So if uh, that uh, revolutionary kind of a thing is uh, you are going in a right way or a wrong way, will decide by the Rashi Lord. Karmic baggage. The ninth house represents your car karmic baggage and the dispositor placement can reveal the nature of your past life debts. If the dispositor is weak or in a challenging position, the results may be unfavorable. Ketu Antardasha can bring feelings of depression and loneliness. Ketu Mahardasha also will bring that kind of a depression and loneliness. So, in conclusion, Ketu in the ninth house is a complex placement that involves uh, comforting past life karma and spiritual challenges. This position requires a deep understanding of oneself and courage to explore the unconventional paths. By acknowledging Ketu influence and embracing its lessons, you can overcome obstacles and find a profound sense of purpose and spiritual fulfillment. Remember, the journey of spiritual growth is going to practice patience, remain open-minded and trust in the universe unfolding plan. 
as promised here are some practical remedies to help navigate ketu's influence treat authority figures with respect cultivate harmonious relationship with those in the positions of authority to mitigate ketu disruptive influence because they don't have roots so you you have that kind of a knowledge okay with that you need to help others you should not destroy others worship ganesha the deity ganesha known for removing obstacles can help attract a good fortune and open the doors to the new opportunities wear hazanet gomet these gemstones are associated uh, with the ketu and can help balance its energy okay it's a cat eye we can also call it as a cat eye the cat eye stone okay is um, belongs to ketu perform ketu specific mantras chanting mantras specific to ketu can enhance spiritual alignment and uh, ease its challenges embrace selflessness engage in acts of kindness volunteering and community service to cultivate spirit of selflessness and compassion so by doing this selfless okay, what with the knowledge what you have you need to teach to others you need to tell to others you need to guide to this you should not use for yours so when you do that selfless service voluntary service the ketu in the ninth house will bring a, a good fortune ultimately giving a good results so this is all about ketu in ninth house thank you for joining us on this journey through ketu in the ninth house we hope this video provides you with the valuable insights and practical guidance stay tuned for more exploration in vedic astrology the kalagati kalagati this video is recorded and the video will be streamed in the kalagati channel so like share comment and watch till to till the end okay we'll come with the next video in the next week um, until then thank you thank you very much